Hey Cancers! Welcome to the weekly love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is from September 12th to the 21st. So guys, how are you? I know you're doing good, Cancer. At least you're going to be doing good from what I was picking up for you in your meditative session. They showed me a couple really interesting things. They showed me a starfish, which I love for you guys. They also showed me, it was really kind of interesting, like you know, you know when there's like a tidal wave or there's a flood, it's like at some point those waters recede right? And you can see everything that was underneath, all the carnage and, and also like beautiful things, like whether it's, I was about to say creatures, but then it's like, oh, well then they wouldn't exactly be alive. Okay. Don't listen to that one. Um, but it allows you to see everything, right? And Pi it almost called you Pisces. Can we know the Pisces? Cancers. Cancers. Uh, I feel like the full moon in Pisces is actually having this effect on you where I feel like you guys have been in a bit of a hard place, a bit of an emotional place, right? Um, of what do I want? What do I need? What's best for me? A state of emotional confusion is probably the best way to put that. Starfish is also very much a Seven of Cups energy for me personally. And that energy of having a lot of doors opening for you was present in your last reading, even though your last reading was a little bit more emotional and a little heavy, a little intense about maybe putting a relationship to an end once and for all. But Cancer... This woman in Pisces energy is really amping up your intuition, just like all the water signs, but Cancers, you're ruled by the moon, right? You're ruled by the moon. You know this. Um, and with this full moon and with also clearing out that relationship for those that, that applied to, because that's obviously not for everybody, clearing out stuff that doesn't serve you, it's allowing you to see even more. It's allowing you to see what's behind like the curtains of the Disneyland ride. You know what I mean? And sight, foresight, precognition, those are all really beautiful gifts. And especially when you, you you get such waves of it, especially after such an emotional time, your emotions are now balanced, your emotions are in check, you've done some healing, and now you're seeing everything for what it is, the good and the bad, right? What happens when they turn on those lights at Disneyland on a ride? You see all the machinery, you see all like where the magic was coming from the smoke and mirrors, right? You're seeing all this cancer, but you're also seeing a lot of beautiful shit or people that you didn't see before. A lot of beautiful opportunities you maybe didn't even know were there because of whatever energy was keeping you bogged down, whatever energy was keeping you kind of emotionally restricted or just emotionally imbalanced. And for some, those were relationships, not just situations. And cancer is you're seeing all of it and it's allowing you to, to basically go about things according to, to how you need them to go. You're taking action accordingly. You're seeing the shitty shit and you're like, oh no, need to get rid of that. <laughs> need to get rid of that, that, those people, those situations. And you're seeing the really beautiful gems that you didn't see before. And that's what you have your eyes on. And Cancers, it's awesome because I feel like once you have this moment of the waters recede, you see everything for what it is. You see how the ride works. You see how the smoke and mirrors work. It's like, you just fucking get it. You just get it and you know what you want and you boom, you spring into action. Very King of Wands energy, okay? So Cancers, let's go ahead and get into your reading. Keep in mind, these are general readings, guys. They're not going to be for everybody. Messages come through for those who really need to hear them. So sometimes it's going to be you. Sometimes it won't. And that's okay if it's not. Um, also, guys, keep in mind, this is energy. So it can be vice versa because energy is not linear. It's fluid. So if it's resonating with the roles are reversed, just switch up the roles. Still cool. Still cool. Um, also, guys, don't get hung up on the gender of the cards. Nothing is gender specific. We all have masculine and feminine energy. Okay, Cancers, let's do this. Hmm. Any messages for Cancers? Why am I seeing broccoli? <laughs> cancers, why am I seeing broccoli? Maybe you guys are just getting healthy. Maybe you guys are chewing on some broccoli right now. I won't lie. I miss broccoli. It's one of my favorite vegetables and I I'm not allowed to eat it and I miss it terribly. But anyway, anyway, cancers, back to you. Any messages for my cancers? If you're wondering why my energy is different, I've been traveling recently but these last few days, uh, which is why I was testing out the premiere. By the way, let me know if you guys like that premiere feature. I'm, I'm still undecided if I like it or not. But yeah, I've been traveling the past few days. So that's why if my energy seems a little different, that's why. Mm. Cancer, there's something shiny about your energy. I don't know what that's about. There's something shiny about you and your energy. I think with this clarity and purging the stuff that wasn't serving you or get again, getting rid of relationships or situations or things that are really inhibiting you or just keeping you feeling not so great about yourself or just great about your situation or just not, even like the positive, like you've got rid of a lot of negative people is also what I'm getting, Cancers, or you will be for those who haven't done that yet. Um... It's just making you shiny and new. 
it's great. It's great energy. Any messages for Cancers regarding love, September 12th to the 21st? Okay, that feels good. Any messages for Cancers? Oh, justice. Libra energy. Oh, I like this. Everything will be right. Everything will be as it should. Oh, I like that, Cancers. There's a whole lot of peace and calm that just came over me with that. Cancers. I don't know if I need to repeat it, but I'm just going to repeat it. Everything will be right in the way that it should. I like that. You're a lot more balanced, Cancer, than when I last checked in on you guys. A lot more balanced coming into this time. Any other messages for Cancers? Regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Make things right with me. I just heard make things right with me. Cancers, some of you, by going into this action mode, you might be confronting some people, okay? Some of you might actually be confronting some people, like, just own up to what you did, make things right with me, and we can move on, or just also trying to, like, check people to really see where people are at with you and what their best, and what their interest is in you, or, you know, why you're still friends, or why, you know, they want to spend more time with you or less time with you. Like, just ch checking people, checking people. You're going to be double-checking people. But I do feel some confrontations with that of wanting balance. Yeah, of wanting balance in all your relationships. And for any that you want to keep that don't have that, you're confronting them. You're actually confronting them. Any other messages for Cancers? Any other messages for Cancers regarding love, September 12th to the 21st? Any other messages for Cancers regarding love? September 12th to the 21st. Any other messages for Cancers regarding love? September 12th to the 21st. Oh, come on, Cancer. You gotta give me more cards than that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay. We got two more cards, guys. Oh, wow. Ace of Swords in reverse and two of Swords in reverse. Moon and Libra energy. You have all swords. You have all air energy. Cancer. All air energy. You can be dealing with an air sign. You could have air in your chart. But like I said, there's something about you where it's like you're just seeing everything for what it is now because of this full moon energy and because a lot of you have gotten rid of some emotional shit. A lot of you have gone through some healing. Like I said, that last weekly I did, some of you guys were getting rid of a relationship and it's made a lot of space, a lot of space for clarity to come in for you to see the bullshitters and who's true blue in your life. And two of swords in reverse, making very clear-headed decisions because of that, because you're balanced and you're only going to accept people and um, energies in your life that are balanced and who are not going to throw you off. You could have Libra in your chart because I'm like, that's a very Libra-like thing as opposed to a Cancerian thing. Uh, but we are in a lot of Libra energy because we're coming into Libra season. Okay, so that's also part of it. Overall energy, very interesting. We have a King of Swords in reverse. Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra. The only thing that bothers me about this, Cancer, with this energy, there's no communication going on, really. You're not you're not sharing with people what, what you're going through. And that's okay. That's your business. But for those in committed relationships, I guess that's why it bothers me. For those who are in committed relationships, you might you might want to share. <laughs> You might want to share what you're going through here a little bit. Um, there's something about method, method to the madness here. Okay, so Cancers, with these cutting of cords and cutting through the bullshitters and making very clear-headed decisions, um, like I said, I feel a little bit of a confrontation with that, like really wanting to balance things out with people and like really confronting them on like, hey, you going to work this shit out with me or not? Because I'm making sure I'm getting my balanced life regardless. Um, there is still something you're not actually saying. That's interesting, Cancer. Underneath that, we do have a Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Capricorn energy could also be Earth or Water. Underneath that, we've got the Devil in reverse. Cappy energy. So you can be dealing with a Capricorn, Cancer. It is your natural seventh here. Cancers, I do feel like this Queen of Pentacles is someone you're dealing with. It's interesting because you feel like they're not giving... It's almost like they're not giving you time, but you're not really giving them communication. So they might be talking to you a lot and you might be responding sparsely. But at the same time, it's like almost like you're taking a lot more action, but you're not saying much. It's almost like you'll start a conversation and they'll run away with it. You know, it's that kind of dynamic. But devil in reverse, something's being released here between the two of you. 
Something's being released here. I keep wanting to call you Libra because there's so many swords here. Cancer. Um, there's something being released here between the two of you. And that's part of the justice that's coming in. You know, this... How do I say this? Whatever weird dynamic you got going on with this person, because it feels weird, Cancer. I got to be honest. It feels really weird. It feels like a little bit of a weird dynamic here. Whatever this dynamic is that's going on right now, it's doing something good for both of you. Okay, it's doing something good for both of you. It's releasing toxicity between the two of you. Um, and it's restoring balance to your life. And it's making you more clear headed. You know what it is? Okay, thank you. Thank you, Spirit. That's what it is. This person's trying to give you space. That's what this is. So it's funny, Cancers, you're not saying what's going on with you, but this person knows something's up. And so they're giving you space. That's why they're not wanting to give you their energy and their time right now, because they know something's going on with you. And it is releasing some kind of toxicity, some kind of shadowy shit, some kind of codependency in one or both of you, okay? Or just between the dynamic between the two of you. They know something's up. This Queen of Pentacles knows something's up. They know. They know something's up. All right, Cancer. So let's go ahead and look at Justice and see what Justice has going on here. Oh, Cancers, some of you, sorry, they're bringing me back here. Cancers, some of you, this is a completely different storyline I'm picking up. Cancers, for some of you, this Queen of Pentacles is someone you need to be distancing yourself from like permanently okay that's for some of you that's definitely not for all of you because some of you this is just something that is like it's a dynamic of giving you space because something needs to be cleared out between the two of you for more clarity thank you spirit just said for more clarity okay thank you um yeah, Cancers, for some of you, this is someone that there's a lot of attraction to. Thank you. That's what that is. That's what that is. And it's it's just, when you have a lot of attraction, it just makes things a little murky. Um, and Cancer, this is a time for you to have clarity. First and foremost, this person's giving you that by giving you space. That's for some of you. Others, this is something that needs to be released, or this is a person that needs to be released from your environment because... You're coming into a place of balance. For some of you, this could even be an ascension or awakening. You're coming into a place of balance and such a place of clarity that you're also seeing, like I said, the bad shit and the good shit, the gems and the, the turds. And for some of you, this person's a turd. <laughs> okay, not no shade on this person. But with devil energy being here, for some of you, if, if that's the case where this is turning out to be a toxic person or a toxic relationship, it's someone that you've had in your life for quite a while. It's not a new relationship. It's not someone that you've been wondering about for a few months. It's like, it's a long-standing relationship. And others of you where it's more the, the opposite, where um, it, this person's been in your life for a few months, or they're a newer individual, and you're wondering, like, why are they giving me so much space? Or, like, how come they're not talking to me as much? They know that you're going through something, and this little weirdness right now between the two of you is actually releasing some toxic shit that is allowing you to have balance and clarity for the time being so that you can end up making a very clear-headed decision about something, okay? So just keep that in mind. Just keep that in mind. Now let's go to justice. Now let's look at justice. I just had right away, didn't I? There it is. <laughs> it's like it ran away from me. Okay, tell me about justice. Tell me about justice for my cancers regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Tell me about justice for cancers regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Tell me about justice for cancers regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Tell me about justice for cancers regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Okay, tell me about justice here. Tell me about justice. Yeah, sorry, they're bringing me back to this. Sorry, Cancers. <laughs> cancers, yeah, for some of you where this is like a few months or a newer person, there's just insane sexual attraction here that really needs to be kind of tamed is also what I'm getting. It needs to be tamed and like peace and separate a little bit of like, you stay in that corner, I'll stay in this corner for, for a little while while you gain clarity and come out of any uh, other toxic environments or shit that you need to get out of or deal with to gain the clarity that you're gaining is very beneficial for that connection, okay? So just know that. Tell me about justice. Tell me about justice. Ooh, we got three of cups in reverse, Cancerian energy. What did I say, Cancers? You guys are cutting people out, okay? You're seeing who the bullshitters are and you're seeing who are the true blues, the true blues in your life. And you're not dealing with anybody who's, who's just going to bring distractions or who's just going to throw you off balance. You're not dealing with that. You're not dealing with that. Tell me about justice. 
Tell me about justice for cancers. Tell me about justice for cancers regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. The tower in reverse. Scorpionic energy could also be Aries because this is Mars influence. Something happened, Cancer. Something definitely happened. This feels like an event. And it could have been at a party because Three of Cups in reverse is like, it's almost like too much of a good time at a party. A little bit of a rowdy, rowdy uh, social situation. But the tower, the tower came down. Are you bringing it down? You're the big catalyst for it. That's for sure. You're the big catalyst for it. We're going to look into that tower moment because I'm very curious. Because I feel like this is you confronting people and cutting what needs to be cut. Tell me about justice. I also feel a little bit of an investigative energy with this cancer. For some of you, it's almost like the game of telephone, where it's like you talk to one person, you find out information on something that you maybe didn't know about. You go and talk to that person, you find out more and more and more. Yeah, for some, it almost feels like a witch hunt, to be honest with you. Yeah, for some, it almost feels like an, a, an investigative journey of your own or some kind of witch hunt. It's interesting energy. Tell me more about justice. Wow. Tell me more about... Oh, I love you. I love a Cancer. I love a Cancer. Okay. Five of Wands in reverse. Leo energy. Yeah, you're cutting people out. You're not dealing with the fighting. You're not dealing with the drama. You're not dealing with the gossip. You're not dealing with anybody who's going to throw you off balance or just to bring murky shit into your life. You're not doing it. Overall energy because you're manifesting. Magician. Mercurial energy. Virgo, Gemini. Also Aqua and Scorp for me as a reader. Divine masculine energy. You're manifesting shit. Plain and simple. You're, you're busy, you got shit to do, and you're not dealing with these people, okay? Or anyone who's going to be distracting, who doesn't have your best interest at heart, anyone who's not up to your par and your energy. So let's look at the tower in reverse, because definitely there's an event around this. Um, ooh. Kipper? Oh, I'm so tempted to go for Kipper. Okay. If I'm that tempted, it's for a reason. Okay, let's do this, Cancer. Am I in focus? Hold on. Okay, there we go. We're good. So about the tower in reverse for cancers. Tell me about the tower in reverse for cancers regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Ooh, sudden wealth with the energy of 11. Sudden wealth can be a huge just plummet of something that brings a richness to your life, whether that's actual money or information right? Because you're in the midst of getting a lot of clarity and a lot of answers. Okay, Cancer, you could be coming into a plethora of information that's making you feel so like you have such an advantage uh, that you actually have like a bird's eye view of everything that's coming and what's going on that you are able to manifest exactly what you want because you have all the pieces. Does that make sense? I feel like that's more the energy that I'm picking up with for you guys. Tell me more about the tower in reverse. Something ha Okay, sorry, they're bringing me back here. Something like just drop landed in your life. That's what this is. Something drop landed into your lap, into your life, and you're like, holy shit, this is an opportunity that I, I can't, I can't not look at. I can't not look at, I can't seize, or I can't take action towards. And I think it might have upset people, or you just know it's going to upset people, which is why you're starting to confront people and start cutting people accordingly. Interesting. Tell me more about the tower in reverse for my cancers regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Tell me more about this tower moment for cancer. Oh, poverty. 37 is cyclical energy. So yeah, there's a closing of a cycle with this tower. There's definitely a closing of a cycle with this tower. I don't think you're losing money, Cancer. I want to make that very clear. I don't think you're going from sudden wealth to poverty. I don't think that's the case. If anything, I think it's more the opposite. I think it's more the opposite. Uh, I'm also having this energy of pulling away from three-dimensional materials. Uh, Scorpio kind of had that too a little bit here because I'm getting obligation with this obligated to yourself thank you obligated to yourself cancer you're obligated to yourself you're the best investment you could possibly make some of you are realizing that others you're getting like literally windfalls of information or money that's leading bringing you into a whole new cycle um and really elevating you really elevating you okay even if you're losing a lot of people in the process tell me more about the tower in reverse for my cancers tell me more about the tower in reverse for my cancers Regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Oh, this is fascinating. We have toil and labor, 38, breaking down to an 11, and message with the number 7. You have very interesting numbers here, Cancer, because look at this. If I can hold these up. You have an 11, a 37, which is cyclical, 
38, 11, and then you have a seven here. 11 and seven are both very, very divine numbers. And then you have a whole cycle starting and opening here. And these two parts, toil and labor and poverty, they're both about obligation, feminine obligation and masculine obligation. This is really interesting to me, Cancer, because I feel like for some of you, this tower, whatever this windfall is, for some of you, it was a person. Quite honestly, for some, it's a person. Drop landed in your lap. But there's a message behind this. There's communication behind this. It's a message. I feel like the message is information to you, to be honest. Information to you. Information to you. Yeah, some of you have just been feeling too obligated to people who haven't really been um, reciprocating that. That's for some of you. But yeah, I, for others, I really feel like someone dropped in, drop landed in your life. Yeah, I feel like someone drop landed in your life to, to really uh, show you what's possible for you. And for some, this could just be a business offer. Like I said, that Seven of Cups energy, that Starfish energy, got a lot of doors opening for you, Cancer. And you know that. I know you already know that. And you're not afraid to work either. This might also be an energy of, okay, if you really want this, you got to really put in the put in the work. You got to really burn that midnight oil and you have no problem with that. Overall energy, we do have main mail. Oh my God, and gift. That's so crazy. Gift right underneath that. And then we have mature man. Cancers, don't get caught up in the fact that these are men. It could also apply to my feminine cancers here. But cancers, this is leveling you up. Quite literally, whatever this is, whatever this message of wealth is, or whatever this, you know, plethora of information is, or whether it's just a person who's drop landed in your life, or an opportunity that you're not afraid to work for, even if it upsets the people around you, and you got to cut people out, you have no problem doing that, because it's seriously leveling you up. It's leveling you up. You're going from just a main male to a mature male. A mature male has a lot of resources. They have a lot of wisdom. They have a lot of... Um, they're a lot higher in their vibration because they've been through a lot of stuff, Cancer. This is a gift. You know it's a gift and you're happy to accept it. And then we have the Ace of Swords in a verse with the Two of Swords in a verse. Let's look at the Two of Swords in a verse because that I feel about is more about the decisions you're making from here on out to basically really <laughs> enjoy whatever this wealthy gift is of information or actual money or if it's a person that's making you feel like, damn, I have a lot coming my way, okay? So let's look at Two of Swords in Reverse. Let me use Gilded Tarot to clarify. Let's talk about Two of Swords in Reverse. For Cancers, regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Tell me about Two of Swords in Reverse. Tell me about Two of Swords in Reverse. For cancers regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Tell me about two of swords in reverse for cancers regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Okay. Tell me about two of swords in reverse. Tell me about two of swords in reverse for cancers. Six of swords so that you can move on in peace. What did I say? In peace. In peace with a hell of a lot more clarity. She's got the full moon right behind her. This is Aquarian energy. High Priestess on the bottom. Tell me more about the Two of Swords in reverse. About these decisions Cancer's making. Justice. Libra energy. Yeah, Cancers, you are putting your, your mental sanity and your balance first and foremost. You're prioritizing that. And anyone else who gets in the way of that, oh well. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> oh. Tell me about Two of Swords in reverse. Tell me about Two of Swords in Reverse for Cancers regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Tell me about Two of Swords in Reverse for Cancers regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Cancers, I love this. Tell me about Two of Swords in Reverse for Cancers regarding love. Oh, Oh, Cancer. Okay, last last three cards out. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Taurian energy, the world, fixed energy, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, also Saturn, controls Capricorn. And then the Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, not Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, uh, Piscean energy. You're going to a whole new cycle where your Ten of Cups lies. And like I said, you're not letting anyone fuck that up. That Five of Pentacles, oh, I just realized how that's showing there. 
That's how it came out. Sorry, guys. I just realized that it's backwards on my screen. Five of Pentacles in reverse coming out of that place of feeling bogged down, just like I was telling you, right? Before this energy comes in, some of you are emotionally overwhelmed. Some of you feel a little lonely, isolated. Some of you have been struggling financially, um, just feeling in a place like where no one really gets you and no one really supports you 100% or genuinely supports you. That's changing. Coming to a whole new cycle of just pure bliss pure bliss and pure happiness because you're getting your justice you're getting your balance you're getting your peace of mind away from anybody who's ever tried to take it away from you including toxic social circles um, or toxic people in your life who don't have your best interests at heart for some of you it is severing a permanent relationship here that has become toxic others it's actually enhancing a connection you have um by just allowing you to have the space and a little bit of alone time to get the clarity you need uh in order to keep manifesting whatever it is you want which clearly is if I can pick it up, your Ten of Cups. And you're not afraid to work for it for those where that has to be, there's got to be a lot of work put into that. And others, it's leading to a huge windfall of money. And for a lot of you, this is just all intuitive where you're just getting blessed with information that's allowing you to see shit clearly. Overall energy, the moon. Piscean energy, also Cancerian for me as a reader. Underneath that, oh yeah, we have a Seven of Swords in reverse. Seven of Swords in reverse. That's Aquarian energy. Underneath that, we have a queen of swords in reverse. Libra energy could also be um, air or water. Underneath that, we have ace of cups in reverse. Lost love here, okay? This is the shit that you're moving away from. Secrets, first of all, secrets. About someone who really was deceptive with you, someone who um, doesn't really have a love for you, and someone who's also very much about themselves, okay? That is something that's been hidden from you, and you're seeing that now. You're seeing that now the, that the waters have receded and you're seeing the good, the bad, and the ugly. And for some of you, this is that same person, that Queen of Swords in reverse, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. For some of you, it's that same person that you need to cut away permanently or distance yourself from. Others, it's almost like you you have this Queen of Pentacles energy where there's a lot of like lusty, sexy energy. And now there's this person has pulled away because they know you're going through something and it is ha helping to kind of balance out that connection and balance out all that sexy energy because sometimes with sexy i'm just calling it sexy energy sometimes with sexy energy uh it, it can lean on to like fester and become very shadowy if you're not careful with it right so that's what all that is cancer and for those where you have that kind of a person uh it's like something this has been something that needed to be cut out to make space for this energy to balance out okay does that make sense um whether this is someone that you've been in a romantic situation with or a friend or a family member what have you but this is someone who clearly was thinking about themselves they don't have very genuine authentic love they don't have a lot of self-love either and very just sneaky like sneaky sneaky behavior that's gone on for a long time is what i'm gathering and it's been kept a secret until now that you have this clarity and for something that's allowing for this other connection to blossom okay oh cancer this was a fun read this was a really fun read let's go ahead and pull some advice for you from the spirit animal deck any advice for my cancers regarding this spread? Hi. Any advice for my cancers regarding this spread? Any advice for my cancers regarding this spread? Any advice for my cancers regarding this spread? Any advice for my cancers? regarding this spread oh okay okay i'll take those two so the first two cards out butterfly spirit another 11 by the way that's the third 11 you've gotten here uh transformation is beautiful and dear spirit bring a gentle touch 18 breaking down to a nine i freaking love this cancer like i said you're coming into a whole new kind of space of being right now after being in a place that was very unpleasant or uncomfortable in an emotional sense, right? And Dear Spirit is such like a gentle kind of new energy. It's like, it always reminds me of like, again, I'm not trying to like say you're, you know, like a baby or anything like that. But Dear Spirit always reminds me of that, like innocence of a child, you know, very much like that. And with Butterfly Spirit, that is like brand spink and new transformative energy, which is exactly what's happened to you, Cancer. It's exactly what's just happened to you. You're looking at the world with new eyes. Granted, you're not naive, though. You're not naive. You're not naive like a child, okay? You're not. You're so not. But 
there's something, like I said, so shiny about you because of it. Something very magnetic about you, something very attractive about you, and you're seeing the world in new eyes. And I do feel strongly, though, Cancer, that there is someone watching you in this dear spirit energy. Yeah, for some of you, that's that newer connection. For some of you, that's that newer connection. Um, really unable to take their eyes away. Purity. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> um, something about looking with purity. Looking through clear eyes. Oh, very interesting. Cancer, for some of you, this could be vice versa. It could be that someone in your life has been going through this and you know you're seeing them in a much clearer way they're they're being more of who they thank you more off, authentic more of who they are you're being more of who you are okay whoever's gone through this transformative process um because you're not dealing with baggage you're not dealing with shit that doesn't resonate with you when you're only enjoying people or situations in your life that resonate with you that's only going to make you way more transparent, way more vulnerable, and also way more attractive. And that's the energy that's going on here for this person who is going through this perspective transformation is what I'll call it. Okay. And these other two cards that wanted to come out. Oh, nice. Badger spirit, be fearless and bold with the energy of four and frog spirit. Clear out the clutter. 28 cyclical energy. Like I said, cancers, I feel confrontation. I do. Like step into people and being like, are we balancing this shit out or not? Are we handling this shit or not? And it's like, whoever says no, you're just not even going to waste your time. <laughs> you know, versus the people who are like, yeah, cancer, of course we can talk about that. Let's talk about that. Let's get that shit on the table. Let's make this right right now. This is your energy, cancer. This is exactly what you need to be doing for those who are maybe not feeling this right now. Because I feel like once you start to see, right, once you start to see things completely clearly, the good, the bad, and the ugly, uh, you're not going to hesitate to want to get rid of the ugly, okay, or the bad. All right, so let's go ahead and see what else we got out here, and then we'll wrap this up. Any other advice for my cancers regarding this spread? Oh, I love it. I love it, cancer. You're chasing your dreams, man. You're chasing your dreams. Any other advice for my cancers regarding this spread? Any other advice for my cancers? And there's the starfish. Oh, I love it. The starfish just came out. All right. Any other advice? Oh, an intuitive card. I like it. So then we have three more cards come out. Beaver spirit lay a solid foundation with the energy of six. Starfish spirit open to infinite possibilities. 59 breaking down to a five. And then dragonfly spirit truth transcends illusion. Energy of 22. Is this not exactly what I've just been saying to you the whole reading? Starfish spirit with, with dragonfly. That is just completely having such clarity of all the doors that are possible for you to open. And then laying a solid foundation going to work. This is a very studious card. A very, very... um persistent persistent card when it comes to work and getting shit done cancers you want to try it's almost like you want to try all these opportunities whatever they are <laughs> um and you're just seeing so many different paths you can take in your life and you love that and you're actually seeing the reality of it with the dragonfly spirit you're seeing the reality of it um and for some of you it's because of a person like i said some of you had a person just kind of like airdrop on you giving you that plethora of clarity that plethora of information or just that feeling of of feeling really wealthy, of feeling really rich in some aspect of your life. And it has you feeling pretty damn good, right? And you're ready to go to work on this. You're not hesitating with that. You're not hesitating to seize these opportunities and what's better for you. Overall, we have ant spirit, time to collaborate with the energy of one. This is my three of pentacles card. Very indicative of having to work with someone. It could also be working with spirit, but we don't really have, a, well, we have magician, which is a manifestation card, but this is working with someone to build something, to quite clearly build. And with Beaver Spirit, Beaver's all about building. <laughs> all about building here. Almost reminds me of like um, like an Eight of Pentacles energy. And then we have the Three of Pentacles energy here. Um, but yeah, Cancers, with all this energy, you're clearly going to be collaborating with someone. And for a lot of you, it's that newer connection that I was sensing. Uh, some of you could have someone on the, uh, on the horizon after you manifest seizing one of these opportunities. And then once you start on that path of like, all right, I'm trying option one, you could meet someone that's just going to elevate you even further because this is very clearly about your elevation. Okay, Cancer, this is beautiful, especially for those who have that newer connection. Really, really beautiful. Do not be afraid to throw out the trash, Cancer. Do not hesitate in throwing out the trash. And like I said, this renewed energy is gorgeous. 
And for some of you, you have someone here who just is in awe of you because of that. And they love your light and they love your energy and they're very inspired by you. Okay. Oh, cancers. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon. Check that out along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Have a great night, cancers. Namaste.